who uh, fought at the Battle of Athens, Tennessee, they really need to be focused on defending their family, defending their homes, and defending the Constitution. This is the symptom of the collapsing medical paradigm. All around us, we see it. And all around us, we find doctors rejecting patients, these lists that aren't so secret. I mean, you could look at Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs, the InfoWars reporter. Mm -hmm. He was bleeding internally. And they told him, yeah, it could, be, it could be a month or so before we even see you. Mm -hmm. Or Weldon, who is under the VA, who works in the warehouse here. He had strep throat. I mean, you could look at his throat. You could look down his throat, huge white bumps everywhere, extreme pain, couldn't even swallow water. Mm. And he went in and they said, yeah, you know, we're not too sure what you have. It might just be a common cold. We're not sure we can treat you. And two weeks later, he finally kept going during lunch, like every single day. And they eventually said, yeah, we'll finally do a test. Four days later, they call him and say, yeah, it was strep throat. We're going to work on getting you antibiotics. At this point, he could hardly talk. Wow. And he was thinking, well, why don't I just go to a regular doctor at this point? Mm -hmm. it, these people are shifting from the VA to the regular MDs, but the regular MDs are so taxed with the healthcare system that is complete garbage that they're all integrating to what's known as integrative medicine now. The whole system is collapsing and they see this. All the smart MDs are going to natural alternative solutions. And, and really what's happening to the veterans is they're really kind of the canaries in the coal mine because... As people were bring, as they're bringing on Obamacare, as 20 years ago when Hillary wanted uh, Hillary Care, as they're putting it, everybody was saying, "Look at the VA. If the government can't run the just a hospital system just for a subsection of the population, how are they going to do it for everybody?" Right? A total mismanagement, total disregard, even for the people who have put their life on the line for this government. They're not just ordinary citizens who are out there. I mean, they have defended this government, and the government betrays them to this degree. And so can we really trust the government's healthcare system to take care of us? Of course we can't. It's like gun control for your biology. And what people don't realize is most of this is based on mental illness, not physical illness. I mean, you can look at some of the articles we're gonna talk about today and also provide exact solutions and get into how we can transform our bodies in ways that don't rely on the medical paradigm. But specifically, we could look at the New York Times saying most will be mentally ill at some point in their lives saying that more than half of Americans will develop a mental illness at some point in their lives. So you go, you go, what does that even mean, a mental illness? It's so broadly defined that it means nothing. You could have a mental illness if you recently lost a loved one. You know, that's defined as a mental illness. Mm -hmm. You will therefore be given pharmaceutical drugs. And then the issue is, this study actually goes on. There's a Which lot we can much get more into. mentally ill than you were to of start course. with in most cases. I mean, I was on them. Yeah. Before, when I was younger, I didn't know, and I thought they could actually maybe help me, and I felt like a zombie, and many others were. But the whole system now, what's good, there is a blessing in disguise here. The doctors, as some are quoted in this article as well, this is an older piece, the newer ones coming out today, all the doctors are saying, this is madness, we need to start looking for alternatives. And that's what's happening, is the doctors now are seeing, because it's like a person walking around at first, they had some cancer cells growing in their body, you know, a little tumor that could hide under their shirt. Now it's the healthcare system in the United States is a walking tumor. It is just like oozing pus everywhere. And even the most conservative doctors can see there's something wrong here. And now they're actually pushing against the government. And the government and the pharmaceutical uh, industry are the ones funding all of these studies saying that we're all mentally ill. Yes. Everything's fine. Yes. We shouldn't treat people over the age of 70 for anything. All of this. And that's what's happening with these waiting lists is they're actually looking at these you know, fake studies that are funded by the pharmaceutical giants and the government where it is population control. It is basically if, if you're not prescribing um, you know, antidepressants, then it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. All of this is culminating to the collapse. But amid the collapse, the rats are all scurrying out, everything's going crazy, and the people are the ones suffering. And I know this is a global problem because, of course, these large pharmaceutical companies are global multinational corporations. When we were in Copenhagen covering Bilderberg, there was an article here I've got on the uh, Copenhagen Post right here. They're talking about close to one in three Danes mentally ill. And they said, according to a new research study, they had a quarter of all the Danes under the age of 50 had been treated for mental illness at some point in their life. They said they expected that to go up. That was only the tip of the iceberg. They had only, because of the way they had structured the study. But the bottom line is, a lot of that, as you pointed out, is broadly diagnosed. Any kind of depression is immediate, immediately, they're given very strong SSRI drugs or whatever. We see that this shooter, uh, this young kid who, who uh, killed those women, because he said he was sexually frustrated. We see that he was on Xanax. 
Every and single time. Every time that's a common if, threat. If, and, of course, they won't talk about that. If Vegas had a betting game for all the mass shooters and crazy people, if you would just put a million dollars every single time that they were on a pharmaceutical drug like an antidepressant, you'd be a very wealthy man. But yeah. look what they don't tell you in that article that they tell you in the other ones. I found this in the New York Times. It says... The findings of those studies are frequently cited by researchers, the ones that say that everyone's mentally ill, uh, policymakers, and drug manufacturers to emphasize the importance of diagnosing and treating mental illness. And then another one goes on to talk about how the drug manufacturers and the government were two of the main funders of the study. Yeah. So they fund it, then they use it to push the actual drugs on the population. Yes. And that's obvious to most people, but guess what? They're admitting it over and over and over again. How is that possibly real science? It's phony, fake science, and that's what's happening with this collapsing paradigm. Thank you, Anthony Gucciardi. And Anthony is going to be joined by Dr. Group in the next hour. We're going to talk to him about things that you can do to take over your individual health issues to make sure that you're protecting yourself and your family. So join us then. We'll be right back. This hour of GCN programming proudly sponsored by BlockItPocket.com. You're aware of cell phone and wireless health and privacy concerns, right? BlockItPocket.com's the source for all your wireless health and privacy answers. BlockItPocket.com. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. If you're worried about your health and you're tired of the nasty side effects of harsh drugs or antibiotics, then look no further. Supernatural Silver is the answer. Supernatural Silver is a powerful immune system enhancer that can be used every day to help keep you healthy and well with none of those nasty side effects. It's extremely safe for use internally as well as topically. And Supernatural Silver is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. It is perfect for use in the sinuses, eyes, ears, and on any wound or skin issue. Supernatural Silver is also extremely effective when taken orally and can help fight off bacteria, viruses, and mold that may be overwhelming your immune system. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER for 2014 for 20% off of your entire order and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. We're going to be joined in the next hour with... Dr. Group and Anthony Gucci already talking about how you can take over, take control of your personal health so that you don't get sucked up into this healthcare system that's not only inefficient but invasive, part of the surveillance state, part of a state as we learned today from an article uh, from Anthony Gucci already, where they believe in Michigan that they can take away your children whenever you take them to the doctor. They can take them away for private sexual 
consultations that you're not allowed to attend, that your children can block you from knowing anything about it, and that they will not allow you to opt out of this in any way, shape, or form. Very disturbing. So Alex is going to be joining us to talk about that. We've been talking about the 70th anniversary of D-Day. Today is June the 6th, the beginning of the invasion of Normandy 70 years ago. And as I look at this and I look at the horrific situation uh, that these young soldiers were put in, the guy who jumped today at the age of 93, he was 23, but the guys that he was jumping with, most of them were teenagers. They were teenagers that were jumping into this situation, teenagers that were dying. Strauss and Howe have talked about how the uh, in a book called The Fourth Turning, as I've mentioned several times uh, when I've talked here on the radio about the repeating of history, the rhyming of history, the rhythm of history. They point out that there's a cycle that you rise to a crisis point about once every 70 to 80 years. And they see that happening very soon for us. As a matter of fact, they believe that it already started uh, around uh, 2007, 2008. They wrote their book 10 years earlier than that. It's something like World War II and the Great Depression. Earlier before that, it was the Civil War. Before that, it was the Revolutionary War. Going back, they trace this cycle back all the way back to the mid-1400s. So what are we going to be facing? And the question is, when this brave generation, as Tom Brokaw called them, the greatest generation, when they fought and died, when they fought evil, did they know where this had come from? There's an excellent article by Kurt Nemo on InfoWars.com, The Greatest Generation sacrificed for bankers. And he points out that as they're recreating these parachute drops and fireworks displays and movies, where 60 million people, 2.5% of the world's population, were killed, he said the responsibility for the staggering loss of life and property is uniformly placed on Hitler and the Nazis. But excluded from the official history is the fact that Hitler and the National Social Socialists would not have risen to power without the help of international bankers and American and German corporations like the ones we just covered at Bilderberg. Professor Anthony Sutton's Wall Street and the Rise of Hitler documents how key Wall Street financiers and other international bankers subsidized the rise of Hitler and the Nazis. Most notably, the late Senator Prescott Bush, grandfather of former President George W. Bush, was a director and shareholder of companies profiting from the Nazi war machine and its destruction in Europe. In a 2004 Guardian article, they obtained information from newly discovered files in the U.S. National Archives that a firm of which Prescott Bush was a director had been involved with financial architects of Nazism. And that's from Ben Aris in Berlin and Duncan Campbell. They said, remarkably, little of Bush's dealings with Germany has received public scrutiny partly because of the secret status of the documentation involving him. When I look at what happened, I, to me, the people who fought in World War II are embodied by the character that you see portrayed in the movies of Captain America. I mean, that's what they drew their inspiration from, the straight up, honest, uh, totally lacking in guile, people who would sacrifice themselves for it. And yet, like Captain America, has that generation, has America overall, fallen asleep after that great struggle against evil, not realizing that Hydra, that this secret Nazi organization has enacted the same kind of control through the bankers that initially started World War II to begin with. We're going to be right back. Stay with us. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. What do you think about the FBI saying that there is a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. You watch the assault.
Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the Info War to the next level.